In this video, we're going to focus on bar percentage versus category percentage in ChartJS. And this is a very useful item because understanding this helps you to understand how bars are being drawn in ChartJS, but also how we can modify them to create different type of charts. For example, a histogram, where a, which is very similar to a bar chart, except that everything is against each other instead of space between. So let's start and explore here. All right, so we have this bar chart here right now. You can see it's a very basic bar chart. And if we go here to chart.js, we go here to the chart types, selecting the bar chart. And if you scroll somewhere down, so let's show you here. So if you are here up, scroll down here somewhere, halfway through, you'll find here the bar percentage versus category percentage. And this is very, very important to you to know and very useful as well. All right, so you can see here what is being drawn here. To understand this, we need to know what is the category and what is the bar percentage or what are they related to. So if you look at the category, the category is basically this one here. Let me go here. This would be your category. It starts here from down, from left to right here where the label consists of red. Your blue, these are all categories. The bar percentage is basically related to how many percent of the bar will be drawn based on the category percentage. So it's this here, this value by default is 0 0.8, meaning 80% of the category percentage of below. So we can control this. So if you look here, you can see here some samples. For example, here, if we set this one and one, which means 100%, what will happen is the bars will basically be side by side. As you can see, there's only one line here. They will stick together and the category uh, is basically fully used with the bar. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about here. So you will see that once we do this, this will be disappearing or this will be disappear. So we scroll down here and then I say here, well, let's get the command. The command is here category and bar percentage. I'll copy this here, put it in here. And then we add up this, just put in, remove these comments or these slashes and put in here comma, all right, save this. And once we save this, all we need to do now is to the website, we just refresh here and now you can see we are side to side. Basically we are covering the entire category area. So the next one, what we can do as well is understanding this here, the category percentage and the bar percentage, basically this is nothing different compared to the default that we had before, which was 0 0.8 on the bar. So uh, let me show you here, we go back to 0 0.8. If I save this, if I refresh, you can see we have down the space again back in between here. And if we do 0 0.5, it would indicate 50% of the category percentage is being drawn, as you can see here, all right? So this is very straightforward, the default settings, and you can make it narrow or wider depending on what you want. So the next one is eventually this option here, which would mean this is the category percentage of 0 0.5 and then we have the bar percentage of one. Well, this would just draw the bars here. However, the category percentage, which is eventually on the entire area, will be shrink to 50%, meaning in here, this is the category area, and if we say 50% of the category area, it will be shrink to 50% only, whatever is available. So let me show you by, for example, saying here, we do 80%, and if we do 80% here, and we just say this will be one, so it's full, oh, sorry, 80%, not eight, so 0 0.8. If I save this now and refresh, you can see it takes, the bar is basically 100%, but the category doesn't allow 100% because it only draws the 80% of the area. So to see this really, really clearly, we can add up a, another data set. So I'm going to show you here by adding up another data set here below, put in comma and paste this in there. And once we did this, what we will do is here, or I will show you exactly the following. We're going to make this 80% and then we say here bar is that and then we say here this will be 1% and this will be 0 0.8. If I save this now, you will see the differences here. Although the differences, as you can see, is very minimal. 
However, here you can see that the sides here is more wider. So why ha why does that happen? Well, basically here the category percentage is the the item that is taking it, and because of that, left to right the eighty percent here starts to become bigger the moment we have an extra bar in here. So this will calculate as well. So this is basically the main reason is category percentage. So if we will make a histogram by that by default, just put this fully on one. Let's remove that one, sorry. Just put this on one, so it's 100% and same here as well, 100%. And if we save this now and refresh, it goes here side by side. If you want to reduce the bar percentage, or you want to have the bar percentage at 100%, but the category is restricted to 80% only, if you save this, you can see here now, only on one side is being restricted, but the other side is not restricted. Restricted at all because we did there 100% of everything. This one here has a restriction restriction on the category itself. We did 80% of this part here below. And that's basically the most important part of understanding the category percentage. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in ChartJS, check out in the description box the link directing to my ChartJS course where you can learn everything about ChartJS. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.